Saint Joseph, Shadow of the Eternal Father In the Writings of Father Faber by Monsignor Arthur B. Calkins There are a few instances where Faber makes reference to Saint Joseph as the Shadow of the Eternal Father. It is one of the most constant motives in his teaching on Saint Joseph. Let us consider some of the ways in which he develops this theme. He says of the head of the Holy Family that He stood to Jesus visibly in the place of the Eternal Father. He was loved, therefore, in a most peculiar way, by the Divine Person whom he thus awesomely represented, and also in a most peculiar way by the Second and Third Persons of the Most Holy Trinity because of that mysterious representation. The human soul of Jesus must have regarded him not only with the tenderest love, but also with deep reverence and an inexplicable submission. Meek and gentle, blameless and loving, as St. Joseph was, it is not possible to think of him without extreme awe, because of that shadow of identity with the Eternal Father, which belongs to him and hides him from our sight, even while it presents him to our faith. Just as his being the shadow of the Eternal Father elicits the love of Jesus for Joseph, so it stirs up humility on the part of Joseph. Faber continues, Joseph was conscious to himself that he was the shadow of the Eternal Father, and this knowledge overwhelmed him. With the deepest reverence he hid himself in the constant thought of the dignity of his office, in the profoundest self-abjection. Commanding makes deep men more humble than obeying. St. Joseph's humility was fed all through life by having to command Jesus, by being the superior of his God. The priest who has most reason to deplore the poverty of his attainments in humility is humble at least when he comes to consecrate at Mass. For years, Joseph lived in the awesome sanctity that which to the priest is but a moment. At the same time, Joseph's role draws him into the love of the divine persons for one another. Faber continues, St. Joseph's awe-stricken joy in being the shadow of the Father was a communication to him, in its measure, of the joy of the Word in being express similitude of his eternal Father. While Joseph's love of Jesus, having in it none of the natural love of an earthly father, was a shadow of the blissful love of the Father for his eternal Son. Moreover, his office of special minister and steward of the sacred humanity privileged him to participate in his degree in the joyous love which the Holy Ghost bore to that dear humanity.